What does Z do in Vim? Uh, it does a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I couldn't even tell you all of it. What's up? Welcome to this final lesson in our short course on Vim covering all the letters from A to Z. We finally made it to Z and Z is an insane letter. There are so many things. It's one of those ones where uh, you can use it with literally every other key on the thing. There is there is something uh, for everybody in this and it touches on a lot of features that we actually haven't been able to cover, cover like foldering and windows and like code collapsing all that kind of stuff. So all of that stuff is here and likely associated with some kind of Z command. It really is like a like a, a grab bag of all the stuff. Now, I want to show you what is useful or what I use most often for navigation, like in daily use. Um, and there's actually a lot of things um, for us here. So I want to show you real quick. Uh, let's go into Vim and I have created a new Lipsum file called lipsumlong.txt and you'll see why we needed the extra length. Now, this file is much longer so I can go down. I have five paragraphs of um, Lipsum. Now, one of my favorite things that um, Z does is it allows us to redraw the, um, the, the document uh, with the cursor in a certain place. So if I do Z T for Z top, it will move the cursor to the top, but actually take the text with it. Um, so, you know, we're on that second paragraph and that moves that to the top. If we go to the bottom, let's do this one. Uh, we do Z B here. Uh, you'll see that this full line is at the bottom of our, our window. One final one, we can do Z Z and that is going to center that line inside of our window. So that's super handy. I love Z Z a lot. It's super easy to type, and uh, that's usually what I want. I want to be able to see some context above, some context below, um, but have that, that line right there in the middle. Now, there are some other things that ZZ can do. If we uh, change this line a little bit to crash, um, I can type ZZ, and that will save and close. It's like a right quit. This is a very handy alias, so you don't have to do colon WQ when you know that you have a file that you've changed. Let's open that up again. Uh, now, let's say we have something that we uh, don't want to change, so let's delete that. If we don't want to change this, we can do ZQ, and that's an alias for colon Q bang, which means quit and don't worry about the fact that I changed this file. Now, if we open that up again, we'll see that we still have crash here. That last change was not committed. So it's really all of what I use for Z. Uh, if you want more, you can type help Z or just colon H Z and get everything that there is for Z. Now, as I mentioned, this is a crazy command and literally all of the letters do something here. So this is just so much to cover. We could do a whole series just on what Z do, the Z prefix commands do. So maybe another time. So I'll see you tomorrow for the congratulatory summarization video.